Hi friends! I have a few more chapters of Frog and Toad to read to you. The first one is called Dragons and Giants. Frog and Toad were reading a book together. The people in this book are brave, said Toad. They fight dragons and giants and they are never afraid. I wonder if we are brave, said Frog. Frog and Toad looked into a mirror. We look brave, said Frog. Yes, but are we, asked Toad. Frog and Toad went outside. We can try to climb this mountain, said Frog. That should tell us if we are brave. Frog went leaping over rocks, and Toad came puffing up behind him. They came to a dark cave. A big snake came out of the cave. Hello, lunch, said the snake when he saw Frog and Toad. He opened his wide mouth. Frog and Toad jumped away. Toad was shaking. I am not afraid, he cried. They climbed higher and higher, and they heard a loud noise. Many large stones were rolling down the mountain. It's an avalanche, cried Toad. Frog and Toad jumped away. Frog was trembling. I am not afraid, he shouted. They came to the top of the mountain. The shadow of a hawk fell over them. Frog and Toad jumped under a rock. The hawk flew away. We are not afraid, screamed Frog and Toad at the same time. Then they ran down the mountain very fast. They ran past the place where they saw the avalanche. They ran past the place where they saw the snake. They ran all the way to Toad's house. Frog, I am glad to have a brave friend like you, said Toad. He jumped into the bed and pulled the covers over his head. And I am happy to know a brave person like you, Toad, said Frog. He jumped into the closet and shut the door. Toad stayed in the bed and Frog stayed in the closet. They stayed there together for a long time, just feeling very brave together. The end. The next one is called The Dream. Toad was asleep and he was having a dream. He was on a stage and he was wearing a costume. Toad looked out into the dark. Frog was sitting in the theater. A strange voice from far away said, Presenting the greatest toad in all the world. Toad took a deep bow. Frog looked smaller as he shouted, Hooray for Toad! Toad will now play the piano very well, said the strange voice. Toad played the piano, and he did not miss a note. Frog, cried Toad, can you play the piano like this? No, said Frog. It seemed to, to Toad that Frog looked even smaller. Toad will now walk on a high wire, and he will not fall down, said the voice. Toad walked on the high wire. Frog, cried Toad, can you do tricks like this? No, peeped Frog, who looked very, very small. Toad will now dance, and he will be wonderful, said the voice. Frog, can you be as wonderful as this, said Toad, as he danced all over the stage. There was no answer. Toad looked out into the theater. Frog was so small that he could not be seen or heard. Frog? said Toad. Where are you? There was still no answer. Frog, what have I done? cried Toad. Then the voice said, the greatest Toad will now... Shut up! screamed Toad. Frog, Frog, where have you gone? Toad was spinning in the dark. Come back, Frog, he shouted. I will be lonely. I'm right here said Frog. 
Frog was standing near Toad's bed. Wake up, Toad, he said. Frog, is that really you? said Toad. Well, of course it is me, said Frog. And are you your right, your own right size? asked Toad. Well, yes, I think so, said Frog. Toad looked at the sunshine coming through the window. Frog, he said, I am so glad that you came over. I always do, said Frog. The end. Thank you for having story time with me today. See you next time.